Having grown up in a fairly traditional Chinese family in Malaysia, while being exposed to the alluring influences of Western media and lifestyles, ever since his boyhood, contemporary artist Sean Lean has always been familiar with the cultural divide and juxtaposition of different identities within him. This sparked an unconscious fascination in the artist's mind towards the motherland of China that his parents have an affinity to and the increasingly Western-influenced environment that he found himself being drawn to outside of his household. His earliest series, which reflects his dichotomy, is Flesh, Blacks and Whites, exhibited in 2013, whereby the artist painted a variety of albinistic and melanistic animals, two forms of genetic rarities. Whilst every single animal symbolizes a special meaning related to his life, some of the choices of animals suggest his fascination or attachment towards these different cultures. For example, the painting White Mare Adolescent Unicorn has its roots to the legendary white horses portrayed in European folklores, including the famous Greek mythology that depicts Zeus' flying white horse Pegasus, a childhood fantasy that the artist still carries in his heart. On the other hand, the painting Black Goldfish I Have Eleven Brilliant Ideas is particularly inspired by Chinese culture. A black goldfish is believed to have good omen and serves the purpose of keeping away any negative energy that enters the home, a symbol of protection that the artist holds on to. Reflections surrounding the questions of what it means to be Chinese grew to become more present in the series that followed, posted the majority of his paintings. Who is this person living within his flesh? The personality that he spends every day with? And how did the internal and external factors that surround him shape himself as an individual? Sean's works can therefore be seen as a visual presentation of his cultural musings and explorations surrounding his Chinese-ness, a personal and historical look into who he is and how his culture and country have informed it. These notions are also present in his 2015 series Motherland, the artist's second solo exhibition, which furthermore depicts the contrast between Sean's traditional Chinese upbringing and the influx of foreign cultures in his life. One example is Dear God, a work where we see a traditional Chinese altar juxtaposed against a background mural of iconic superheroes taking flight. This work serves as the unofficial predecessor to Motherland and expresses the cultural mishmash that individuals of his generation face. Which gods do I worship? My parents or the ones of my choosing? Through his visuals, Sean Lin tries to investigate and understand the meanings behind these hybrid identities. Essentially, his works serve as an exploration into what makes the core of a culture, the core of oneself, placed within the context you were born into and brought up in, and how external circumstances affect, shift, and changes the culture. As quoted from writer Rachel Jenagaratnam, yet what's within never really leaves, it merely changes. The evolution of one's identity is also emphasized through Motherland. As she commented, was Motherland points to the artist's roots and the iconography of Chinese culture, it is also Sean's imprint for his personal journey and an examination of his identity today. The notion of identity is further seen explored through the artist's 2018 series, Three, where Sean explores ideas surrounding the triptych, a traditional form of art that derives from Christian paintings in the Middle Ages, in which paintings are divided into three parts. Through it, Sean seeks the balance within three frames, where two frames juxtapose attention, and the third frame always serves to relieve it. This technique could be seen as the artist's first attempt at coming to an acceptance of his fluctuating cultural identity, perhaps settling and coming at peace with the ever-changing nature of it. 
By using art as a way of looking into this aspect of his life, Sean slowly realized the fluidity of his identity, or rather what he deems as his identity, and came to terms with it. As he said, Everything is fluid. I'm not the person that I was three to four years ago because I always try to do new things. In a sense, in order to achieve that, you kind of have to abandon anything you picked up at that point in your life. Sean does not seek for any conclusion to his musings. Rather, he sees it as a personal endeavor, one that he constantly explores and which continues to evolve. His latest series, M2, sequel to Motherland, reflects on this in a more light-hearted way, yet through rigorous process of experimentation using symbols, colors, and materials. His new fascination lies with hard steel, stencil, and automotive paint. The tension between the cold, industrial, and forceful nature of steel undermines his ideas of culture. As he stated, culture is transient and is in a flux, whereas metal is a mineral, an anchor. The sense of balance which is present in a series 3 is also carried into M2, thus giving visual representation of how he is coming to balance out his views and perhaps even settle the conflict in him. In the Crane Sunrise Trio, for example, we see Sean takes the typically East Asian iconography of a pair of cranes and repeat it three times on steel, with each a distinct change in color palette. The symbolisms are easy to follow in this work and is a repeating theme in the other trios, drawing a clear line between that which is traditional and expected to what is deliberately other and different. The point where they meet in the center is where Lean seems to sit, not in the old or the other, but somewhere in the middle where the new resides. To Sean Lean, for as long as there are mornings that he wakes up to, a part of who he is will keep on changing every day. Culture and country have informed him and will keep on shaping his identity today and onwards.